Hey, Josh Zarek, Jay Zarek Studios. Today I'm gonna to show you how I use blur on a separate layer, uh, just a copy of the photo that you're working on and blur to create soft and vibrant color. Check it out. Very simple way to enhance the color and at the same time softening it. And you can adjust this from zero to 100. Uh, it's just by copying your background layer. Then go to filter, blur. I usually use Gaussian blur, but you can experiment with anything you want here. And then I'll go from zero to just until it's like a, a pleasant blur. You can go all the way up if you want to, but it won't have the same results. But I encourage you to experiment with this because it does some, do some pretty cool things to just about any, any image. I'm going to leave it at, let's just, I'll just type in 20 pixels. Then all you do is go to blending mode, soft light, and there it is. And what it does is just it kind of smooths the colors together. And at the same time, when you hit soft light, it makes it just a tad more vibrant. It's kind of like boosting the vibrance slider up in Lightroom or Photoshop. But at the same time, it's softening. And it may smooth things out a little bit more than you want to. You can always put a layer mask on that and invert that and just paint in what you want or invert that and paint in what you don't paint out what you don't want. And that's pretty simple. I'm going to do another one here. I'm just going to copy and paste here. Do the same thing. Blur that. Soft light. And this one's a little bit more obvious with the smoothing. And you can see it adds, adds more of a, I don't know what to say, like how to describe like a milky yet deep color to it. And I've always liked doing this, but sometimes, sometimes it won't work. Like if it's a bright and sunny photo, sometimes it doesn't really work out that well, uh, especially if it's really well lit. This has a lot of dark spots in, so there's a lot of dark areas. So you can really see what it's doing here. And what it does to her hair is pretty cool too. It adds kind of like a glow to her hair, whereas before there wasn't anything like that. So that's a real simple tip. You can do this with any image you want, uh, experiment. And you can also experiment by using overlay mode. Overlay is a little bit more extreme when you're doing something like this. And then you can, you can just put it on over, overlay and drop it down until you like what you see. And again, this is another thing where you can just use a layer mask and only put it where you want it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and tell your friends. Keep creating and keep it awesome. Join me on Patreon.com to take part in special rewards like Priority Question and Answer, Lightroom and Photoshop Presets and Actions, BTS videos and photos, previews for upcoming content, and even suggest ideas for tutorials. And also you have the option of being credited for your support of Jay Zaring Studios, which is really cool. Check it out at patreon.com slash jzaring.